Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video on Calf Shadow. Do click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it to be notified for future exciting content. Great, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to plot a histogram and also a scatter diagram using Microsoft Word and Excel. Okay. Today's video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to illustrate how to plot a histogram and a scatter diagram in Microsoft Word. And the second part is going to illustrate how to draw a histogram and a scatter diagram in Excel. Okay, let's start with the Microsoft Word. So you quickly launch your Microsoft Word application, which I presume you have already launched. Okay, so after you've launched it, you move to insert. All right, we are actually going to insert a chart. But before we insert a chart, let's click on this four cardinal point box which will highlight your frequency table then you hit the key combination control plus c to copy all right you are going to be needing it somewhere along the line when you are done copying you click out of it great so you now move to chart remember we are going to learn how to insert a histogram but before you insert a histogram you would have to insert a bar graph we all know that the difference between the histogram and the bar graph is that there are no spaces in the histogram between the bars okay but for the bar graph we have spaces in between the bars all right so let's insert the bar graph you then move to column and select any of these these are all in different layouts we have a 3d layout and then we have the 2d layouts i'm going to use the 2d layouts which is the clustered color so with that selected you now click ok it will then input a diagram here with a default data set in excel we don't need this data set so we then paste our data we copied earlier as i told you would need it along the line then you hit on the key combination Control v after selecting the first cell here which is cell a1 you hit Control v to paste your data it will still have this default data and this is how we are going to delete it click and drag from c to d how did i do that simply click and drag use your mouse click and drag all right once you are done you right click and delete that will delete the default data here great so now that we have this information we want to plot our histogram so you can actually close this good so once you have that closed you can edit the bar graph into a histogram and how do we do that you select the bars double click on the bars when you double click on the bars it will highlight all the bars giving you an option to edit the bars so this is how we turn the bar graph into a histogram we close the gap between the bars by either reducing this to the extreme left where we have zero percent or when this is spaced out you can highlight the number here and type zero and hit enter either ways it will work perfectly so you realize that we now have our bars together like a histogram 
okay great now we want to outline the bars we want to make the bars stand out okay how do we do that double click on the bars again then you right click and go to outline and select any color i prefer black beautiful so once that is done you can actually rename this by double clicking on the tab double click then click outside and type histogram okay beautiful so once that is done you can also add the axis here and rename it to maybe frequency or anything of your choice depending on how you are plotting the graph okay so how do we do that having selected your diagram hit on this plus icon and click access title okay so once you have that inserted you can edit it by double clicking and doing the key combination control a to select everything there and then type frequency okay so once that is done you have your histogram take note that you can change the design of this histogram but then if you change it remember it wasn't actually a histogram it was a bar graph that we converted to a histogram so once you have your design changed i would want to use this you realize that i will go back to the bar graph so we go back select the tabs select the bars double click and reduce the gap to zero then you have your histogram don't forget to outline it with a black color or any color of your choice beautiful so this is how to insert a histogram okay great i hope you faced no challenges in setting a histogram if you do face any challenges just leave them in the comment section below and i'll address that let's quickly move on to how to insert a scatter diagram it's the same procedure the same procedure so then move to insert by this time you're not going to select a bar chart you select the chart move to scatter okay then you click insert we are using the same data values so you can paste it here Control v beautiful then you have your data set but you notice that our data set is starting from 1.5 but this is starting from zero it is not a problem you can easily change that how do we do that so once you have this imputed you can close it i don't want to close it i'll just push it up there okay so how do we change this to form or to fit our data sets it's very simple you click on the the numbers below to highlight the whole box then sorry i have to move this again then you move to access option mind you you can you can close yours you can easily close yours but i don't want to close mine then you move to access sorry move to access option beautiful then you take note of this minimum and maximum the minimum means the minimum number of your data sets that is x okay so you can type here 1.5 because that's our minimum and you check for your maximum your maximum is four 
So you put four here, four and press enter. Beautiful. So that will change the numbers below over here. All right. Remember, you can always change this and title it as scatter diagram. Just double click on it until a point where you have your cursor inside and type it and clean everything and title it your own way. Remember that you can also change the design of your scatter diagram by going to design and change it. This time I want to use blue, not black. Okay. So this is our scatter diagram based on the data set above. So guys, this is how to insert a histogram and a scatter diagram in Microsoft Word. In the next video I'm going to put out there, I'll illustrate the same procedure, but this time in Microsoft Excel. The procedure is nothing different, just that it's in a different software. Okay, it is important to note that if you are using an older version of Microsoft Word, the procedure of inserting the histogram and the scatter diagram might be slightly different, but it's nothing, nothing new apart from these procedures is basically the same thing but done in a different way all right so guys this is how to draw your histogram and your scatter diagram in microsoft word very soon the part two of this video will be published so that you can know how to also do this in microsoft excel if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button and also don't always Remember that you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Do always remember that you can leave your comments in the comment section below. That is very important to me because I want to hear your comments. Okay. Then also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel, which is CAF's channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to always get notified on every video I post. Stay blessed and have a good day.